Hi everyone, this is Girish and in this very simple tutorial, we will try to connect our local Visual Studio code to an EC2 instance. What is the need for this? Well, there are several times when I have to write or modify Python program or even the YAML files in EC2 using VI editor and it always something, sometimes it messes up the tabs and uh, I thought if we can connect our local Visual Studio code where the settings have the tabs, etc. defined and those files can directly be available in, in the EC2 instance, that would help. So that's the reason to create this uh, tutorial. This is very beginner friendly. I'll go step by step on how to do this. So let's start the tutorial. Here I'm in my AWS console in the EC2 dashboard. What we'll do is we'll launch a EC2 instance. Let's call it test SSH2. We will choose Amazon Linux. You can choose Ubuntu or any other uh, operating system that you need. We will stay in free tier. So let's try to do free tier eligible Amazon Linux 2023 AMI. T2 micro is good because we still want to create stay in the free tier. You would need a cre uh, key pair. So what we'll do, we'll create a new, new key pair and let's, let's call it YouTube demo. And it's RSA and PAM file. So what I'm going to do, create a key pair and it will download the private key on my local. So I'll download right here. We'll create a default VPC. Let me just zoom in a little bit. We'll create a default VPC, let it assign the public IP. Now this is something important. When we set up the security group, we want to allow traffic, SSH traffic uh, from either your own IP if you want to be super secure or a custom IP in, in case you are on VPN or some other uh, company enterprise network or anywhere. For this tutorial, I'll just keep it anywhere. So anybody can SSH, but I'm gonna delete uh, this instance right after this demo anyways. So. That's the security group that we'll keep uh, since we are not going to be running any Apache or any Nginx, so we will leave them as is. So once we have all these set up, we'll do launch instance from here. So this will take a few seconds. The instance, while the instance is getting launched, let me go to my Visual Studio code and you need an extension called remote SSH. So remote SSH is the one that allows or enables you to access or connect to your EC2 instance and uh, uh, share those files. So I already have this installed. It's super simple to uh, go to the extensions and install it. So we will use this. Let's go back to our, and second thing we have to do is, uh, the key pair file that we downloaded, we need to set the permission on them. So let's go to and my key, my file name was uh, uh, YouTube demo. So I think so we need permission 0400 on YouTube underscore demo CER. So the permission is set. So we will be able to use this in the uh, while connecting. Let's see what's the status of our EC2 instance. Our EC2 instance is running. So let's try to get some instruction on how to connect to this. I'll go select the instance, go to connect. And if you go to SSH client, you will see that you have to connect using the PAM file actually download CER file. So we'll change this. The, the default user is EC2 user and this is the public DNS of our EC2 instance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect it from here and uh, so we can see that the files that we are copying get actually gets copied, etc. So let's see where am I? I'm in this directory and I have no files right now. Let's go back here. Uh, and then get the connection string again and oh sorry this is a terminated instance so let me just refresh it here real quick because i have the instance selected right here so i'm going to close this i'm going to go to the ec2 
dashboard directly right here so anyways we are on this uh, terminal and there are no files in here what we will do we will go back again to our connection settings and uh, get the strings that we need we need this dns host name now go back to our visual studio code and what we will do if you see let me just zoom in a little bit more and make the screen a little bit go towards the middle there is a small little icon here and what you can do click on this it will ask you to connect to a host using the remote ssh so what we'll do is click on this now it's asking me to configure the host so since we don't have that host configured yet we will use add new ssh host and in the new ssh host we will enter the well actually just let's just keep it simple let's call it test ssh2 and when we actually define the host we will actually uh, add this in the host entry so where do you want to modify this or add this so in my case the ssh configs are located in my users home directory so i'll choose this and once you choose this there is a small dialog bo box that comes up and it says uh, open the config so we'll open the config and you see that it created this entry now we will replace this host name with the public dns name of the ec2 instance and we will also add a user and in our case the user is ec2 dash user and identity file so identity file is the file that uh, we just uh, we actually downloaded and put it in uh, in the downloads folder so make sure to change the permission before you use it otherwise it will not work okay so the host is test easy to uh, test sorry test ssh2 host name is the public dns name of ec2 user is this identity file is this if you are using ubuntu the user will be ubuntu user but uh, it will work for ubuntu or linux okay so now we have this setup so i'm going to try to connect let's do it again and i'm going to click this connect to a host and now our host is showing up here so i'm going to choose test ssh2 let's retry so it's asking me for the fingerprint and i say yes continue okay so one second sorry uh, yeah so now as you can see here from the this terminal window that we are in our ec2 instance 172 31 etc so if i do ps pwd and ls there's no files in here so you can also open a folder here from the remote machine so let's open a folder and let's open the home home uh, directory and i'll say okay and now you can see that i am in this directory we have to trust obviously so i'm going to trust it and you can see all these files here if i go back to my instance connect window and if i do ls minus lat i should see the same uh, dot files in here as well so let's do this let's create a simple file real quick and then we'll also try to copy some files let's see so i'm just going to say test.py i'm not going to run it or anything but just write it let me just and just say okay print hello now as i save this file if i go back to my ec2 instance instance connect if i do an ls i could see that test file is there let's say you want to work on some yaml or copy some uh, json files or any type of files uh, let me let me drag one file from my local box and put it here like movies.json which i'm going to use in one of the upcoming uh, elastic search video that i'm trying to make uh, elastic search simple search as well as elastic search with rag where it will use we will use elastic search as a vector database or vector store 
So yeah, please subscribe to my channel because some of those generative AI videos are coming up soon. And uh, this is one of the files for that purpose only. Anyways, so we put this movie.json copy pasted in here. If I go back to my instance uh, connect and if I do ls, as you can see that movies.json is available here. So it's very easy to uh, modify these files locally and instead of, you know, uh, worrying about the tabs and uh, etc. in YML files and Python files, I thought it was very helpful uh, for me to be able to connect my Visual Studio code to EC2. And I hope it might help you as well. So yeah, uh, that was it for the quick demo. Please do not forget to terminate the instance so that you don't get charged unnecessarily. I'm going to do it right now. And yeah, if you like this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. As I mentioned, I am going to be creating more videos on generative AI, data engineering, Python, DevOps. Please check my channel. I mean, there, there are already several videos on, on Kubernetes as well. So uh, I hope you like it and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.